When you are a young entrepreneur, you go gather as much intelligence as you can. And you guys, BYU is a great asset for you. You can come back here and you can ask questions. You can go to Scott Peterson. Scott Peterson will put you in touch with one of the three of us or a hundred other people in the Founders Program. And we're there to answer questions and help you. Doesn't mean we're going to give you the right answer. You then make the decision and you start marching forward. And if it's the wrong decision, you get run over by the Mack truck. But that right there, man, the, my business failures are my college degree. I did not graduate. I went two, one and a half years here, I didn't finish. My failures were my college degree. So my answer to this, it's a critical question. It's a great one, but I'm the, towards the end. I'm sorry, we, we have till 4.30. Okay. I, was, I was corrected. No, we can end early. I am down with that. <laughs> we, we didn't talk about advisory councils and boards too much. I've surrounded myself always with strong advisory people. Now, these are service providers from accounting firms and service providers from law firms and service providers from all sorts of, you know, angles. And these aren't board members. They just advise me and they provide services to me. And then a board that is very, very savvy on things that go wrong. Now, you are all, all of you that go into a startup, there's gonna be massive things that go wrong. You're gonna be amazed how many things you get hit with. And if you're thinking that your skills are good enough to correct that as a solo act, no, it, you really need to be surrounded by these advisory boards and good board of director people. And that's your insulation, your insurance. You're, you're not going to learn it all. But the fact is, you, if you wait to know it all, you'll never start. Okay. So the, the right way to do it is you start. You start moving. Like you literally start moving, and knowing that you don't know it all, right? Knowing that you're not going to be great at all, that are perfect at all, but you start moving forward, and you are going to fall down a few times. There's just no way to ways about that. That's how we. That is how we learn, literally, right? What you do is you hope you don't fall down in ways that are going to impact your character, right? So try not to fail in the ways of integrity. Try not to fail doing something dishonest or anything like that. If you're going to fail, fail trying to do it and just not knowing any better. Does that make sense? And then pick yourself up and keep going because that's really, I don't think, if you ask any successful person, they're going to tell you that they got good because they, they made a lot of mistakes and learned from them. And it's just, nothing ever goes perfect. And if it did, that would be weird. Like, I feel like you wouldn't grow, right? So I think you just, but don't wait. Don't wait to start. I think that's the biggest mistake I see some of the young people make is they think, oh, I'm not good enough yet. I don't know enough yet. So they wait. And then they're forever waiting, or they're forever talking about their idea but never actually implementing it. You know what I mean? So the best way to learn is try it. Try it. If it doesn't work out, don't be so scared you're going to fail. Because it isn't really failing just because it didn't work. It just means you had to turn a corner and go a different direction, right? I mean, you go out with a girl, it doesn't work out with that girl, it doesn't mean your life's over. There's going to be 50 million other girls on campus you can go out with, right? So don't let that be your, like, end of everything. Just just have the kind of attitude of, I'm going to learn, I'll do better the next time, and don't be embarrassed that things didn't go right. I think a lot of kids are so nervous to be embarrassed in front of their peers that it didn't go right. There is no shame in trying and failing and having to try again. There's a whole lot of shame on sitting on the bench the whole time and doing nothing, in so my opinion. my license plate says, be bold. That's my license plate. And what that means is yellow. you've got to be bold. <laughs> yellow. So here's the thing. As, as a startup, YOLO. Oh, YOLO. 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 As you start a startup company, some of you would be bashful to come to Amy or Corbin or me and say, would you mind being on my advisory council? Uh, don't be bashful. you got to be bold. If you believe in what you're doing and you see somebody you want on your advisory board, Go to them. Now, I'm not likely to join your board of directors because that has liability and it has risks and such that I'm probably not interested in on a startup. But if it's an advisory board, sure, I'm on a ton of those. You know, I'm, I'm really, it's fun. It, it's a hobby to me. So don't be bashful. Come forward. You're going to meet a lot of people at the business school, the founders and the National Advisory Council and all these powerful groups that have all these successful people. Just go right up to them and say, this is what I'm doing, I'd love to have you, and here's why. Just make sure you have a good reason why. Like, something you're doing matches something I've done. You know, and, and just ask the person. I would say you're gonna have a pretty good track record to get an advisory council person. Not so much on the board, though.